Hello students, today we are going to discuss on a topic water as a biological solvent. Now coming to introduction, water is the most important substance of life. It also provides an environment for many species. All cells contain a minimum of 85% of water with most fluids inside and outside of the cells likely to have at least 90% water. Both transportation of molecules and chemical reactions takes place in dissolved water. Water acts as a metabolite in many reactions, either as a reactant or as a product of a reaction. It is involved in many reactions like photosynthesis, digestion, and aerobic respiration. A wide range of biomolecules are dissolved in water including sugars, amino acid, small nucleic acids, and proteins. Only nonpolar lipids and large polymers like polysaccharides, large proteins do not dissolve. Cells host a huge range of chemical reaction. Many of these are catalyzed by enzymes. Enzyme activity is sensitive to temperature and reactions only occur in a narrow range of temperatures. Water helps to buffer temperature changes because of its relative high specific heat capacity. It also helps transport dissolved compounds into and out of cells. Almost all biological macromolecules, proteins and DNAs are inactive in the absence of water. Hydration of a protein is particularly important for the stability of the structure and for the function, especially the recognition at a specific site. So, water is the solvent of the body and it regulates all functions, including the activity of everything it dissolves and circulates. Now coming to water as a biological solvent. Water is a versatile solvent due to its polarity, which allows it to form hydrogen bonds easily. When an ionic compound is dissolved in water, its ion is surrounded by a pair of water molecules called a hydrogen cell. Water dissolves inorganic and organic compounds alike simultaneously serving as both good and poor solvent for biological macromolecules such as proteins those with molecular weight in excess of 10 to the power 6 gram per mole. Blood is an example of proteinaceous milieu containing 0.1 molar sodium chloride with a wide variety of proteins. On the other hand, water is a rather poor solvent for nonpolar macromolecules. This is largely responsible for the self assembly of lipids into the bilayer structure building blocks of living cells. Otherwise, lipids would dissolve in water, failing to organize into any entity whatsoever, and proteins would not form the secondary or tertiary structures. So, essential to say enzyme activity. The peculiar feature of this sparing hydrocarbon solubility in water is that it is temperature independent. If this were not the case, a slight change in temperature would cause water to become a more aggressive solvent, possibly corroding life by dissolving lipid and protein assemblies. Now coming to weak acid and bases. Weak acids and bases are ubiquitous in biological system and play important roles in metabolism and its regulation. A weak acid is an acid that do not dissociate completely, releasing only some of its hydrogen atoms into the solution. The majority of acids are weak. On average, only about 1% of a weak acid solution dissociates 
in water in a 0.1 mole per liter solution. Therefore, the concentration of hydrogen ions in a weak acid solution is always less than the concentration of the undissociated species. Thus, it is less capable than a strong acids at donating protons. Weak acids have very small values for Ka and therefore higher values of pKa compared to strong acids which have very large Ka values and slightly negative pKa values. Now examples of weak acids include acetic acid, phosphoric acid and oxalic acid. The strength of a weak acid is represented as an equilibrium constant or as a percent dissociation. The equilibrium concentration of reactants and products are related by the acid dissociation constant expression Ka. The greater value of Ka the more the formation of hydrogen ion is favored and the lower the pH of the solution. The Ka of weak acid varies between acids with Ka less than 1.8 into 10 to the power minus 16 are weaker acid than water. A weak base is a chemical base that does not ionize fully in an aqueous solution. This results in a relatively low pH compared to a strong base. Weak bases do not completely dissociate at equilibrium in water. So, calculating the pH of this solution requires consideration of a unique ionization constant and equilibrium concentration. Now coming to the relationship between Ka and Kb. When acid strength increases, conjugate base strength decreases. And base strength increases, conjugate acid strength decreases. This relationship can be illustrated mathematically using the Ka and Kb expressions for a conjugate acid base pairs. Weak acid ice A plus water gives A negative plus ice 3 O plus. Ka is equal to concentration of ice 3 O plus into concentration of A negative divided by concentration of ice A. Conjugate base A negative plus water gives ice A plus O ice negative. Kb is equal to concentration of ice A into concentration of O ice negative divided by concentration of A negative. Multiplying the two equilibrium expression and simplifying gives Ka into Kb is equal to concentration of ice 3 O plus into concentration of A negative divided by concentration of ice A into concentration of ice A into concentration of O ice negative divided by concentration of A negative. It becomes Ka into Kb is equal to concentration of ice 3 O plus into concentration of O ice negative. Therefore, Ka into Kb is equal to Kw which is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. Notice that as Ka increases, acid strength increases and Kb for the conjugate base must decrease. Thus, stronger acids have weak conjugate bases and stronger bases have weak conjugate acids. This relationship can be used to determine, for example, the Kb for weak base if the Ka for the conjugate acid is known. Now coming to pH. pH is the measurement of hydrogen ion concentration. pH may be defined as the negative logarithm of the hydrogen ion concentration or pH of the solution is the logarithm of the reciprocal of hydrogen ion concentration. This definition of pH was introduced by the Danish biochemist Soren Peter in 1909. Every aqueous solution can be measured to determine its pH value. This value ranges from 0 to 14 pH. pH 7 is the center of the measurement scale. It is neither negative acidic or basic. It is called nutrient pH. 
Measurement of pH is one of the most important and frequently used procedure in biochemistry. Almost all processes containing water have a need for pH measurement. Most living things depend on a proper pH level to sustain life. The pH affects the structure and activity of biological macromolecules. For example, the catalytic activity of enzymes is strongly dependent on pH. All human beings and animals rely on internal mechanism to maintain the pH level of their blood. The blood flowing through our veins must have a pH between 7.35 and 7.45. Exceeding these strains by as little as one ten of a pH unit could prove fatal. It is expressed mathematically as pH is equal to negative law of hydrogen ion concentration. Hydrogen ions concentration is expressed in terms of mole per liter. The pH value is an expression of the ratio of hydrogen ion concentration to hydroxide ion concentration. Hence, if the hydrogen ion concentration is greater than hydrogen ion concentration, the solution is acidic. Conversely, if the hydroxide ion is greater than hydrogen ion concentration, the solution is basic. At pH 7, the ratio of hydrogen ion to hydroxide ion is equal and therefore the solution is neutral. As shown in the equation below, pH is a logarithmic function. A change of one pH unit represents a tenfold change in concentration of hydrogen ion. Now coming to pH scale. pH scale is used to describe whether a solution is acidic or basic. The pH scale designates the hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion concentration. The ion product of water is the basis for the pH scale. As mentioned above that pH is equal to negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. The pH scale is logarithmic. If two solutions differ in pH by one pH unit, then one solution has 10 times the hydrogen concentration of the other. It does not tell us the absolute magnitude of the difference. Now coming to ways of measuring pH. pH is in an acute solution can be measured in a variety of ways. The most common way uses a pH sensitive electrode, a reference electrode and a pH meter. Alternative methods for determining the pH of a solution are indicators. Indicators are materials that are specifically designed to change color when exposed to different pH values. The color of a weighted sample paper is matched to a color on a colored chart to infer a pH value. pH paper is available for narrow pH ranges and fairly wide pH ranges of 1 to 11. Now, colorimeter. This device uses a vial filled with an appropriate volume of sample to which a reagent is added. As the reagent is added, a color change takes place. The color of this solution is then compared to a color wheel or spectrum standard to interpolate the pH value. The colorimeter can be used for graph sample measuring, but not for continuous online measuring. Typically used to determine the pH value of water in swimming pools, spas, cooling towers, and boilers and river waters. Now coming to conclusion. The essentiality of water for living system is quite evident as without water there is no life. It was in water that the chemical reactions of biological processes evolved. All aspects of cell structure and function are adapted to the physical and chemical properties of water.
the strong attractive forces between water molecules result in water's solvent properties. The water molecule and its ionizing products greatly influence the structure, assemblies, and properties of all the cellular components, including enzymes and other proteins, nucleic acids, and lipids. Water is needed not only for biochemical reactions, but also for transporting substances across membranes, maintaining body temperature, dissolving waste products for excretion, and producing digestive fluids. Water is the medium in which the first cell arose, and the solvent in which most biochemical transformations takes place. The properties of water have set the course of evolution and exert a decisive influence on the structure of biomolecules in aqueous solution. Many of the interactions within and between biomolecules are strongly influenced by the solvent properties of water.